So right now we're in a bit of a transition period with Sony's new box speakers and in general I am liking these new box speakers from Sony. Both the XV900 and XV800 have much more balanced sound signatures to them and I also think they look sleeker and they both have built-in optical ports. However, the XP700 isn't going anywhere. So today we're going to compare the Sony XV900 to the XV800 and to the XP700 and let's see which one's right for you. Regarding pricing, the XP700 has a retail price of $550, but this speaker likes to go on sale for $450. The XV800 has a retail price of $650, but I expect the speaker to go on sale from time to time as well. And then there's the XV900, which has a retail price of $900, but it likes to go on sale for $800. Nonetheless, if you want to pick any of these speakers up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, pick up a big head approved hat. Link down below. We've got trucker hats and snapbacks. By buying a hat, you help the unbiased and unsponsored videos coming, and it also helps us cover more products and produce more versus videos. Thank you to everyone who's already bought a hat, and look out for more designs coming soon. And also, please remember to hit that like button, and let's get subscribed. Now first, let's talk about the design of these speakers. Now all three of these speakers have a mostly plastic body which can get scratched up very easily if you try to transport any of these speakers and they all have a metal grill on the front. Now the XV900 is by far the largest speaker here and it weighs in at 59 pounds and sometimes moving the speaker can be a two person job. Whereas both the XV800 and XP700 are considerably smaller when compared to the XV900 and they both weigh in a little less than 40 pounds and moving either of these two speakers is mostly a one person job. But to make life a little easier, both the newer XV900 and XV800 have built in wheels, so you can always roll these speakers around. The problem is, these wheels are very small. With the XV900, these wheels are only meant for smooth surfaces, whereas with the XV800, these wheels are a little larger, but you're better off carrying the speaker when on a rougher surface. Nonetheless, all of these speakers are meant to be portable party speakers that you can use wherever you want, but the thing that I don't like about the XV900 is that it doesn't have an IP rating, so you're probably going to want to be careful to not get the speaker wet. Whereas both the XV800 and XP700 are both IPX4 water resistant. But I do want to point out that the control panel on both the XV900 and XV800 are now using capacitive buttons and they now light up. So it's much easier to see your buttons at night or if you're in a dark room and with the XV900 you can change the color of your light feature directly from the speaker itself. Whereas with the XP700 its control buttons aren't as elegant. But next up, there's the light feature on these speakers. Now both the XP700 and XV800 have your typical Sony light bars up top and on the bottom. Overall, these light features are okay and they look good while indoors or at night, but then there's the XV900 whose light feature is a little more impressive because it goes all around the speaker and it also has floor lights which gives the speaker a larger presence. And personally, I love how the floor lights on the XV900 just floods a large area with color. Basically what I'm saying is I really wish the XV800 also had those floor lights. But just remember if you decide to use these light features that is going to take its toll on the battery life. But then there is battery life on these speakers. Now all of these speakers have an advertised battery life of 25 hours. However this advertised battery life of 25 hours is with both the XV900 and XV800 playing at 30% volume which is already a decent listening volume for at home use and that's with the mega bass feature turned on which is good however that's with the light feature turned off and with the xp 700 that's with it playing at 25 percent volume but real world use with both the xv 900 and xp 700 playing at 65 percent volume which i feel is a decent listening volume to use with friends and that's with the mega bass feature turned on and with the light feature turned on both of these speakers are good for about eight hours of playback time whereas the xv 800 is going to be good for around 10 hours of playback time so overall yes the xv 800 does have a slightly longer battery life here but the most important thing here is that the XV800 has a better performing battery than the similarly sized XP700.
And at max volume and with the mega base feature turned on and with the light feature turned on, Sony claims that the XV900 is going to be good for four hours of playback time and the XV800 is going to be good for three and a half hours of playback time. So overall, battery life on all of these speakers really varies depending on how you use them. Now, when it comes to connectivity, all of these speakers can be connected to two devices at the same time, so you and a friend can both be DJ, and none of these speakers have any latency issues, so you can use them to watch videos on your phone. And when it comes to audio codecs, all of these speakers have support for SBC, AAC, and LDAC, which is Sony's own in-house high-res audio codec. However, if you do want to use LDAC, you do have to be an Android user because iPhones top out at AAC, and if you do decide to use LDAC, that is going to take an additional toll on the battery life. Regarding well, ports, all three of these speakers have an audio jack, so you can still use them with a wired connection, but unfortunately, none of these speakers have an audio out jack. Now, all of these speakers also have a USB-A port so that you can charge your own devices, or you can plug in a USB stick and play music off of it. But what's new for both the XV900 and XV800 is that they now have an optical port. So you can always connect them to your TV and use them as an impromptu soundboard. And personally, I do like this feature because it helps makes both the XV900 and XV800 a little more versatile. And finally, all three of these speakers have two quarter inch inputs on them and you can use two microphones for karaoke or you can plug in a guitar. Now overall, all three of these speakers are decent options for karaoke, but the only thing that I don't like is that you can't adjust the sound of your microphone. Now you can always go ahead and add an echo, but personally, I don't like adding an echo to my microphones. But nonetheless, all three of these speakers can be used with two microphones for karaoke and they're all decent options. But now let's talk about sound. When it comes to speaker setups, the XP700 has a dual front mode firing woofers with an exhaust port that shoots out the back, and it has a total of four tweeters, three on the front and one on the back. And when this speaker is standing upright, it'll use these two tweeters and the one on the back, but when it's on its side, it'll only use these two tweeters. Then there's the XV800, which also has dual front mode firing woofers, but its exhaust port shoots out the front, and this speaker has a total of five five tweeters on it, three on the front and two on the back. Now when this speaker is standing upright, it'll use these two tweeters and the two on the back, and when it's on its side, it'll use these two tweeters and it'll continue to use the ones on the back as well. And finally, there's the XV900, which has a big front mode firing woofer with an exhaust port that also shoots out the front. It has two front mode firing mid range drivers, and this thing has a total of six tweeters on it two on the front, two on the sides, and two that shoot upwards. But now we're gonna jump into the sound test. All of these speakers are playing with their mega bass feature turned on. The XV900 is playing at 75% volume, and these other two speakers are playing at max volume, and all of these speakers are running off of their internal batteries. Lately you don't feel like yourself and you kinda hate it. You suppress all of the thoughts in your head and say it's complicated. You hide your pain, but I can see it. It's on your face. I know the feeling where well, you're okay, but you're barely breathing. Don't you walk away? Feel you getting lost, I feel you trailing off Feel it in your words when you say there's nothing wrong There's something so subliminal About the way that your hands shake whenever you talk You stare into space like you're lost in your thoughts Surrounded by your paper walls Tell me what's been going on Myself. Now it took time to listen like Couldn't see that you were going through hell Now you're cold and distant Whoa. You say you're fine, but your heart is bleeding Feed me those signs, they lost the meaning And I'm something in your mind, see the demons in your eyes I know you're afraid I feel you getting lost, I feel you trailing off Feel it in your words when you say there's nothing wrong There's something so subliminal The way that your hands you can never you talk Stare into space like a thought
So first, we need to address max volume performance here. Obviously, since the XV900 is the largest speaker here, it's going to get the loudest and is going to have the most amount of bass here. Now, both the XV800 and XP700 get decently loud for their size, and these two speakers have basically the same max volume performance. But since the XV800 doesn't sound as warm as the XP700, it does seem a little louder because the mids are more pronounced. Now, with all of these speakers, if you were to use them while they're plugged in you're going to get a noticeable performance bump out of them they're all going to get louder and they're all going to have more bass overall i'd say the xv900 is adequate for a 30 to maybe 35 person party whereas both the xv800 and xp700 are good for about 20 person parties but in general the xv800 does seem a little louder than the xp700 but when it comes to the overall sound quality of these speakers, both the XV900 and XV800 have a much more balanced sound signature to them. They still have a good amount of bass to them, but the bass isn't as overpowering, and the vocals actually have a room to breathe here now. And even though you can adjust the EQ on all of these speakers, personally, I think Sony got it right with their stock Mega Bass EQ on both the XV900 and XV800. Whereas with the XP700, this speaker doesn't sound as open because the bass is more overpowering and the vocals aren't as forward. But also, another major difference between the XV800 and XP700 is just the bass. The bass on the XP700 has more physicality to it, whereas the bass on the XV800 is more on the audible side and it's smoother. Overall, I do prefer the more balanced sound of the XV800 over the XP700, and if you want more sound, then you can go with the XV900. But finally, let's talk about pairing these speakers up with other speakers. Now, all of these speakers are using Sony's Party Connect. So you can pair any of these speakers with, let's say, another XV900, XV800, and XP700, or XP500, and you can get them to play in sync, and you can pair up to 100 speakers together. Or if you have two of the same speakers, then you can wisely sync them up and get them to play in left and right stereo mode. But the cool thing about Sony's Party Connect is that you can pair your larger box speakers to any of Sony's smaller speakers that are also using Party Connect, like let's say an XG500, XG300, XE300, XE200, an XB43, XB33, or XB23, and you can get them to play in sync. And this is a big deal because this is something that you can't do with JBL speakers. Now, even though Sony's Party Connect is very accommodating and it gets the job done, sometimes it can be a bit of a hassle to use. Sometimes it can take a while for all of your speakers to get paired up. Sometimes all of your speakers don't get paired up on the first try, so you're going to have to go through the pairing process multiple times, and sometimes skipping does happen. Now, this doesn't happen all of the time, but this is just a heads up as to what to expect from Sony's Party Connect. But I do like having the option of being able to pair my larger box speakers to any of my smaller, more portable speakers. But with all that being said, if we directly compare the Sony XV800 to the Sony XP700, overall the XV800 is easily the better speaker here, and it shows us that Sony is heading in the right direction with their large box speakers. The XV800 has a much more balanced sound signature to it, and it sounds more open than the XP700. The X XV800 also has a slightly longer lasting battery life. The XV800 also has that new optical port so you can use it with your TV. The XV800 also looks sleeker and the new illuminated lights up top are a big help. 
The XV800 also has those built-in wheels, but these wheels could be better. But overall, yes, the XV800 is significantly better than the XP700. But then, there's the XV900. This speaker does everything that the XV800 does, but on a larger and louder scale. Plus, it also has those floor lights, which I just really, really like. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And you know I can be very particular, so I'll only slap my name on something if I'm really proud of it.